Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Bava, playing uh, Dane 5's Hexproof list in a Pauper Daily against Dane 5 himself. Um, and we get to go first, and we're going to take it. Um, it's one lander, but we have a sprawl, um, so we'll try and make this work here. We don't particularly need the graveyard in this matchup. This may be the last Popper Daily I get to run with Hexproof. If it's not quite as good of a list against a more uh, mono black control heavy meta, it's not bad necessarily. You just need to adjust it a bit. We do have things. Um, well, I guess we sprawl for now. For white. We do have things like Young Wolf in the sideboard, and we have Colony Garden, and certain things that shore up our matchup against Edict effects. Um, but it's still just it's just tougher. You don't see a lot of NBC right now, so it's not too bad. <clears throat> Alright, but I'm up against the master himself, the hexproof grinder, Dane 5. I see him in daily events all the time, so. Let's see. The last Hexproof Mirror I ran into in a Popper Daily event, I won, so that's pretty good. My record with Hexproof is pretty good. I am in three dailies, I won two of them. I went 4-0 twice, I went 2-2 in the last one, so not bad. Okay, so he gets the Bogle, it's fine. Um, we're gonna Manamorphose, just because we want green, green. Oh good, and we do get a forest. So that's pretty sweet. Um, so we should actually go ahead. <clears throat> the Gnarly is going to be biggest, and he's not going to be blockable. The Ledge Walker is also not blockable, though. And we can put the Rancor on her, and then we get the Mask next turn. That seems good. Okay. So it depends. If he gets an explosive start, he could get out ahead of us. If he gets life gain going early enough, he could get out ahead of us. Um, otherwise, this looks okay. <clears throat> yep. That's the way you want it to work, but we got there. Yeah, there's his Rancor and Ethereal Armor. All right, so yeah, that is the nut straw right there. We need the life gain. We really do need the life gain. Yeah, that trample's not helping me either. Well, 1311 is pretty good though. So unless he gets life gain, we win. Oh yeah, because Ancestral Mask is huge in this matchup. Ethereal Armor is enchantment you control. Ancestral Mask is for all of them. That's great. Let's make sure we do not take that out, because that's super big. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I cast that, because I didn't actually realize All right, Bogle's not really helping a whole lot considering that guy has Trample. But, uh, hmm. Yeah, if he gets lay, he gets the Armadillo Cloak, he can gain nine. And there's a blocker. Yeah. He's up to 16, but we're at 15. We just need something great right here. Mmm, whiffed. Alright. 
There are no surprises, particularly in this matchup, so. Bogle can block his guy. I'm at five life, so. Hmm. I'm okay attacking like that. We can trade here. His guy's a little scarier than my guy. And he had to make that block. Ah, 15, 10, still hitting me for five. All right, so maybe that was a bad move. No, he could have attacked with that guy though. Ah. Darn. Darn. All right, that was the nuts. Perfect. Perfect nuts draw for him. Jeez. Yeah. All the good one. We just needed uh, anything. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Ah. Nuts draw for him, kind of a nuts draw for me. This game comes down to moment's piece. Gleeful sabotage. Don't hurt. We don't want to mess up our stuff too much, honestly, so I think it's just moment's piece. Yeah, and uh, we leave in the masks and the norlids and the life gain. Hmm, all right. Drop down to two mana morphos and <laughs> and it's a really rough choice. One insight. We'll try it like that. <clears throat> Alright, we will be on the play. We've got forest, forest. Oh man, no dude. A couple card draw things, so we can try and grab a dude. We have moments piece to keep us alive, so. Mm. We'll try this. I don't love this. Kind of hate. Utopia Sprawl lets us do more interesting things. Or wait. Okay. We're going to draw the cards. We're going to draw the cards. We might get a guy off the top, though. He's also sprawling. Okay. I don't want you, Forest. You are not my friend. Manamorphos. Uh, green. Green. There's a scout. Thank you. Aha. Well, that's something. We're getting a little flooded. Yeah, we have first strike. Oh, goody. This is going to be good. All right, just don't kill me right now. It'll be OK.
We got nothing at the moment. Oh good, we're not dead. That's something. Gleeful Sabotage could be a pill. He's digging for answers, it looks like. Um, do we just keep up Moments Piece? Moments Piece is two. So we can keep it up and do this. That seems fine. Alright. Yeah, he's got his own Moments Piece. We're in the Moments Piece battle, guys. It happens. We get to save ours, whereas he is, uh, he has to deal with lethal now. He has to keep three up if he doesn't want to die, so that can be hard, too. Let's get another moment's piece. But all the same. We're going to save ours until the bitter end. Until uh, he actually has something that matters. There's his armor. Yeah, eight. Hmm. Oh, he's not keeping up moments piece mana. Oh, yeah, he is. He can go for lethal, but he's not. We'll take it. <laughs> um, rancoring. It's not particularly a matter here, but if he does have gleeful. The more stuff I have, the better. So. I will get you. Yeah. All right, hopefully he's out of moments pieces. He runs three, same as us, usually. I say that because we're playing the same list. There's his lethal. He's gonna tap out. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I figured that would happen. All right. Uh, are we still happy with how this is? Do, 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 do. Um, yes. All right, we're going to be on the draw, which could make a difference here. I should have let him attack, of course. It was a slight mistake, but... Alrighty, round three. Let's see uh, what happens. He will play first. Oof. Jesus Christ. I do not like this hand. OP mulligans. He kept seven. We're gonna mulligan down to six. No dude, but we're on the draw. We'll try this. He could just totally stomp us, though. All right, uh, white. <clears throat> it's gonna be a mana morphos. Um, if we can get a guy, we're pretty happy with armor rancor. Yeah. Hmm. 
double rancor. Ouch. Come on, guys. Um, green, green at this point. No, we have a white card. Jesus. Oh, he's got Hexproof, right? We could cast that on someone else, but we can't cast it on our own. On his guy. It's Hexproof. If you had Gnarled, we could do it. Hmm. Ah. This could be it, my friends. Let's uh, rip a guy off the top and make that ethereal armor count, huh? All right, we need one, one of our 14 guys, preferably a one drop so we can do him, Rancor, Rancor, armor. Um, that'll be a good blocker, unless he gets an armor. Okay. He's got lethal, got nothing. We missed it. Ooh. Abundant growth would have gotten us a serial armor. There's a skill. All right. That's it. We're 01. We lost to the master of Hexproof himself, Dane 5, which is okay. We kept a couple questionable hands. I did not like that first one with the Colony Garden, uh, though we didn't have a whole lot of gas there. Just blockers, but it wouldn't have made a difference. So thanks for watching round one. See you guys in round two.